we're making a book out of an antique photo album. Well, happy holidays, and thank you, dear hearts, for stopping by the studio today. Um, if you're brand new to our channel, my name is Katarina Giglio, and my husband, Don Diggison, is behind the camera. I'm a mixed media artist, and I'm represented by a gallery here in Fort Collins. And um, today, we're going to be making a book. Actually, we're making something out of nothing. Um, and I think you're gonna really enjoy it. Um, we wanna thank you for your thumbs up, for all of your kind comments, for your shares, for your subscriptions, and thank you for donations on our PayPal tip jar. So since it's the holidays um, and we are going to, we'll be seeing you again in January, um, we decided to make a little, um, a little holiday book. So you know how I love flowers and florals and all of that. So I decided to make a little holiday floral book. So that's why the leaf is on the front of the book. And then I used book binding tape to hold the covers together because the, um, the spines always get so nasty. You know how that happens. So this one is falling apart and this is what we're gonna to use today for the demonstration. So anyway, I just love the way it turned out and then I put a little um, page in the front and then, um, you know, it's the antique pages, which I cut down, but I didn't want them to be exact same size of the book because that's what we're gonna make um, in the, um, in the book that we demonstrate today. So I love the way it turned out. I think it came out just great. And I, um, I really love the, I love that there's no, <laughs> there's no title on here. There's just the leaf. So you know that it's all about florals and you know, it's all about um, growing things in here, but at Christmas time. So it's, it's a, uh, it's definitely a favorite book. So let's get started making this book. So <clears throat> this book was Weird Tales or something like that, which uh, deserves to be chewed up, I think. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so we are going to take the spine out. That's the first thing we're gonna do because this is pretty nasty looking. I suppose if it was better looking, I would keep it. Uh, I was wondering if I had to cut it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut it. But anyway, um, so we're just gonna remove the spine. <clears throat> and um, and I've made a new spine out of corrugated cardboard. So so you can. What I love about this project is you're using all kinds of old bits, right? You're just you don't have to really buy anything. You just go in your drawers and pull out things that you have that you know, and then just you're starting over, right? It's just I love recycling things. Okay, so this goes this way and this way, and I'm just gonna give it a little brush with my, um, with my um, sanding wedge. <clears throat> and today we have things on our Amazon list, so if you want to purchase book binding tape or, um, or anything else, that, that, would, be, that would be great. Um, we're gonna be using gel matte medium and book binding tape. Um, <clears throat> so I thought on the front cover, we would put these little angels and that we would make this book as a little angel book. Um, so I have a bunch of these. So as you know, I had larger size in here that I made this book from. And I love the way it sticks out, it looks kind of chunky. Uh, this one is gonna fit right into the book. Now, when you're doing this and you're, um, and you're at home, what I would say is that you want it to be able to open at least a little ways. We're not gonna sew this today, we're gonna glue it in there, which I think is fabulous because so many people can't really stitch. So, um, so you wanna make sure that they're all lined up with the rough side at the back and the gold side here. And we're gonna collage these today and then put them in the book. So it's gonna be a little different than some of the other books I've shown you, but that's because it's from an antique photo album and um, we need to have them you know, out and loose so that we can fill these and then glue them back together. So I've cut this little piece and it's going to fit really nicely in here. And I'm going to use book binding tape. And we have these 
we have it on our Amazon list. Um, I think, I don't know if it's the black one or the white one, but once you, is it black? So the first one on the list. Okay. So um, if you want it, um, it's pretty fabulous. I mean, look what it did for this old book. It's just pretty amazing. So I'm going to, too. it is pretty cheap. I have to agree. So I'm going to just um, cut this. I'm going to lay it down here. I have it all together. And um, so now I just need scissors to cut it. There we go. All right, so we have, we have it together now. Here's our book. There we go. Fabulous, huh? I think it looks great. Now we're gonna do the other side too. But this one will be longer. So I'm thinking, I have to get centered so I can see it, otherwise it'll be crooked. So, like right about there. How does that look to you, Don? Good, good, good. Okay, so I wanted a little extra because we're just gonna wrap it. And, oops, don't stick, please don't stick. <laughs> okay, so, and we'll go like this. Okay. Now, you can make it a little bit larger if you want that salvage there. Or not, doesn't really matter because you're not gonna see it because we're gonna put some, uh, but, and I, what I love about book binding tape is that it's going to, um, you know, it's gonna move. It's gonna move with the book, which is fabulous. So we've got that done now. <clears throat> and, I, and I think that it's going to be really pretty with this mounted on the front. So I, I do love the idea of having an angel book, especially at the holidays. I think it's just really sweet. Um, so, <clears throat> so now we're going to cover the inside. So Don didn't like the white. He thought it was too bright. So, um, and you guys can tell me in the comments whether you thought it was too bright or not. Um, so we're going to cover it with the black tape and hope we get it on there correctly. <clears throat> it's actually the same size. I think it's about two inches. Don knows. Two inches. He measured it. <laughs> Okay, so now we have black. All right, so I hope everybody's happy with the black. <laughs> so there we I'm go. Happy. He's really happy. So <laughs> that's fine. I don't mind the little white edge. Do you? Is that all right with you? <laughs> okay. Yay. All right. Now I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to um, I'm just going to follow the the lines here where the um, the spine is so that it will fold a little better. There we go, that's better. Okay, so if you make a mistake or you change your mind, you know, you can also always do embellishments. I can put some ribbon here or something like that. I kind of like it though because I like the weight in here. I think it looks really cool. Okay, so now we're gonna cover the inside. We said that last time. <laughs> okay, so I've got this brown paper and I'm gonna cover the inside with it. Um, and so I'm just going to use my thumb, um, and I want it to be just a little bit bigger than the book, and then I can just sand it back. So I'm just going to cut this off, and then we'll put that in the book. So it's been really cold here. I don't know where you are, but... It's been, uh, what, seven degrees? <laughs> it's been a little chilly lately. And we have lots of snow outside. So, um, so it's, it's starting to look like the holidays and um, we're excited about that. Hoping that we have um, a little bit of white snow through December. So, <clears throat> so I'm gonna use gel matte medium now. And I want to have a dry brush. Let's do the dry brush. Yeah. So the first thing I'm going to do is do the center. 
And don't worry about it if you get a wrinkle or something like that. You don't have to fret over it. <clears throat> so, now I usually do half of it to begin with. And that was the front. Doesn't really matter, does it? Nope, not anymore. So, I just want it to be completely covered. There we go. All the edges. And then I can go back and do it. Now, <clears throat> I love using um, handmade paper to do the inside <clears throat> of the books. It's just... Um, Oh, it just moves, you know, it just kind of absorbs all the glue and it moves so well. And um, I really like the way that it that it works out. But I couldn't find anything that even looked like it wanted to live inside this book. So I just I just surrendered to the brown paper. And sometimes you just have to do that. But I think it's gonna be fine. So and you wanna have you know, a pretty pretty dry brush when you're doing bookmaking because if you don't, then sometimes it will uh, it'll just look wet and you'll have that awful wet look to it and it just won't be attractive at all. So now when you do this, you wanna have that edge. You wanna have just a little bit hanging over the edge and then you can go back and you can uh, sand it back. So I put a mask on to do this because paper can be, there's a lot of you know particles, I can, I can see them in the sun and if you don't have the sun coming in you probably won't see them but it's just better for you to take care of yourself and your lungs um, when you're doing artwork. Just like wearing gloves is important too. So. And then I'm just gonna just peel it off of there. So it's gonna look just like it wants to live on the book. And you know, these books weren't in great shape to begin with. It's wonderful to be able to recycle things and create something new from something old that no one's gonna re read. You know, <laughs> some of our missing pages and things like that, it just, it just makes sense to create something new with something old. So, okay, now we have the pages in there, or the, uh, the covering for the inside, and I think that's gonna be perfect. Okay, so we're going to, um, to collage these now. Now, I have a ton of angel images that I really love and thought would be really pretty in here. Um, but what I decided to do was to do kind of a tunnel book. And um, so I have a little template here and I'm going to make um, images to fit in here. Now these are like a transparency. Can you see it with the angel on here and, mm -hmm. and all the other things? Yeah, so what I'm gonna do, I thought we would do this. I thought I would put this angel here glue her on the back, and then the other two are going to be these transparencies so that you can sort of see that there's something in there when you look at the book. Mm, she's falling out already. So let me hold her in place so I can show you. We've got great sunlight today, so. Um, so she's going to be at, at the back and so you'll be able to see that there's something back there and you just keep turning the pages until you get to the little angel, which I have no idea where I got this. But you can use anything. I mean, if you have an angel image, you could use this. You don't have to use transparencies. You could make any kind of collage that you want. I just thought this was so pretty. And I think Sarah gave me this, but anyway, I just thought that it would be lovely to use it. Um, and something different, something different than um, the exact same thing that I did last time with all of the florals. So, um, so we're gonna get these glue, well, gonna cut them down 
I have a template so you can make a template fit it to fit it in there and then um, just pencil it on your pages decide where you want it to go and then poke them into the book so I'm trying to decide which one to put in this side there isn't a whole lot of that angel left so I think I'm going to use this instead yeah I think that's what I'll do I'll use this one instead So photo albums, um, antique photo albums you can get in antique stores, which I would say, you know, in a flea market or someplace like that would probably be your best bet. They cost an arm and a leg now, so I haven't bought one in quite a while, but I remember when we went, where was that? That book sale we went to someplace. Yeah. Um, Oh my gosh, they were so incredibly expensive. Couldn't touch them. Um, they were in absolute great condition though. And of course mine aren't. Mine weren't never in great condition, I don't think. Um, so, um, but whatever, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, now this is sticking here, so I'm going to be really careful and use my scissors to try to figure out what's going on. Now, you know, if you don't like the way this looks, um, you can just cover it with other paper. Tissue paper works really well. You can put something else. I like the fact that it looks so organic, that it has the history that you can see. And um, I just think it looks fantastic. So, all right, maybe I got it now. Okay, so, um, and then I'm just using the ruler to push it up. Okay, come on, you can do it. You can do it. So, um, so look for them and see if you can find them. Sometimes you get them at garage sales or estate sales, things like that. Or you could just go on eBay and look on there too. That's a possibility. Um, so this, this one corner is just being so difficult here. And then what I'll do is go back with my uh, glue and make sure that it stays together. So I just cut it down a little bit on the sides. Sometimes you just have to kind of finesse it in because, you know, we're talking, it's pretty old. <laughs> so this is probably a hundred years old, these pieces that I'm working with. So Oop, that's the wrong way. So um, sometimes you just have to just take, just cut it just slightly to make it work. But you know, it'll be fine once you do it. So there you go. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Looks pretty. Love it. So the angel's there. Okay, then we glued this angel on. We just gave it a few little dabs of, of some uh, gel matte medium. And um, so we've got our angel in there. We've got these all together. And then you can see it's going to be really pretty. You're going to be able to tell when you open up the book that there's something back there. So angel here, then there's a floral here, and then this angel back here. So I think that's going to be really fun. Now, when you do this, Generally, these um, albums have a gold edge or something, some kind of an edge, so you can tell, you know, which is the back. And you want to be able to see that because you want them all to be the same, probably. So now I'm going to take my clamp, and I'm going to get another clamp too, but I'm going to um, get some gel matte medium on here. And uh, actually, I'm not going to use a brush. I'm going to use a palette knife. So um, if you're lucky enough to find them glued together in a group, which is fantastic, um, then that would be, be really great. Um, but if not, if it's like this, 
then um, then you're going to have to do it yourself. So I suggest that you use your palette knife and then kind of smear it like frosting. <laughs> this is the way I think of it. And um, ah. there we go. That's better. All right. And so you want to have it, you know, nice in a, in a block. Now, the thing is, this is how they were, <laughs> they were glued in to begin with. So it's not going to be that hard to, to keep them in there together. Um, and they're not going to open super flat, but that's okay. Um, so we're going to let this dry and we'll come back. While I'm waiting for my block to get dry, because then we're going to glue it again and then put it in the book, I decided to go ahead and glue my angels down. Now this was a piece that I had uh, years ago and then um, I soaked it in, in a solution and I should show you that sometime, probably another video. Um, anyway, to get the vertigress look and so I think it goes really nicely on here. And so I'm going to just put a heavy weight on there. I'm just going to use some blocks that I have. Um, and I'm just going to set it on there to keep it, um, to, to glue it down really well. I use gel matte medium for this, but it's because it's very, very light and it had several points so that I could glue it to the book. If it was any heavier, I would have used E6000 and that's an industrial glue that I like to use for, you know, uh, 3D bits. So my, um, so my signature block is glued together. And then we're going to glue it into the book here. Just like that. And I think what I want to do first is to um, make the inset pages or the, the first pages. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to get some paper and we'll do that next. Before we uh, glued the signatures in, I just wanted to make the, fronts, the front pages. Um, and I like doing this because it, it just looks pretty in your book and it, it has a nice finished kind of look to it. And I use decal scissor, scissors for this edge here. So now I have this one made, I can make another one. And now I'm gonna glue this into the book. Now you want to be generous with your glue <laughs> because if you're not, um, then they won't stay in. So, and you're basically gluing it down to the paper that's in there. So now I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to try to smooth it out a little bit. Don't worry if you get it on the edges, you know, we have tissue paper to take that off or something. Oh, I've got my, uh, my rag so I can clean it up here like this. Okay, now this is the glued edge. This is the front of the book. You want to make sure that you've got it facing in the proper way and then you put it down making sure it's pretty close to being in the middle and then I'm going to go ahead and clean off this glue here so that it's a little smoother looking. Smoother looking on this side. I know I just got in the camera sight, but you know, what can I say? <laughs> so, have to see what I'm doing too. <laughs> so, you know, we're just filming this in my studio. We don't have a studio with lights and all that stuff. Now you're gonna clamp it shut and you're going to let it dry. Okay, so my pages are glued in. And um, now I have the little front pages. At least that's what I call them. I don't know what the proper name is for it. It doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm just going to glue that down. There are other ways that you could do it too, but I just, I like it this way. So now I just have to let this dry and we're almost at chow for now. Well, we're almost at chow for now. I wanted to show you the book. It's not quite dry yet, but here's the front page. And then you can see that the, um, 
the wonderful uh, transparencies are in the center and then at the back is the angel so and I don't want to pull it open because it'll come apart uh, now you could use PVA glue instead of a gel matte medium um, you can use whatever you want to but it will take a little while to dry so you're going to have to clamp it down um, and if you don't have these you can use those little clothespin hooks what do you call those things um, I can't remember the name of it <laughs> but uh, but anyway something to clamp it down and let it go so that it'll dry and um, and just play with it and have fun with it and enjoy every minute well, we're at Chow for now, and I hope you give it a try. I hope you make your own little book. And uh, I will tell you that it's easier if all of the uh, the uh, photo album uh, pages are already glued together. It'll make it a lot easier. If you have to piece one in there, it'll take a little while to dry and to keep it straight on there. So, but anyway, I, I L-O-V-E love it. I love the way they turned out. I think they're really fun and um, I hope you play with it. And we wish you the happiest of holidays. Whatever you celebrate, we know that you are going to have a glorious, glorious holiday season and we send you our love, so. <laughs>